we got signed, that was August of 2001. So you can see where the timeline's going. So mm. when we signed the deal, <laughs> yeah, we signed the deal, we set up uh, some pre-production to do the record because we we're gonna we had blocked out Ocean Way B to, to start tracking the record, which would become the record that is that has the radio stuff on it. Um, so we did pre-production. Lo and behold, September 11th rolls around, and we were scheduled for a day of pre-production. Well, I woke up, you know, I, as I did, and at this time I was starting to date who would who would become my wife at the time. And I just kind of, she had gone up and she was going to nursing school and she was already up and out and out the door. And I just got up and just mindlessly, you know, got the remote and just went click, turn on the TV. And it, the first tower had already been hit. Mm-hmm. And I'm like, oh, and I thought like a lot of people did when you caught it in the middle, it's like, oh, there's a big fire. Right. You right. And think that like, oh no, a plane, right? Like no idea. How, about how old were you at this time? Oh, I don't remember. Honestly, okay. I can't do my math. Don't, don't do public math as they tell you. Was I don't, <laughs> don't is do that public the term? math? Don't do public math. <laughs> Every people say don't do public math because you sound stupid when you go. Mm. I, but, uh, but I, so at that time I had called my, my girlfriend at the time and she was at school and she's like, yeah, we, we know what's going on. And she's kind of filming. It's like, no a plane hit. This is for real. Oh, so I was already scheduled to go to SIR, and what we did is we went there and we sat. There's a lounge at SIR. Uh, SIR, for those of you who don't know, is Studio Instrument Rentals, a well-known place here in Nashville that does rehearsal spaces for tours and whatever. They also have locations in Los Angeles, New York, and a lot of other places. There's a lounge there, and we're watching the broadcast. And we're basically – we sat there for three hours and then just went home because we're like, we're not going to do anything today. Mm-hmm. Right, and yeah. I actually all, all I did is I and my girlfriend's like, yeah, we're just sitting here, we're we're in class, quote unquote, just watching the broadcast, and so I said, cool, I'm just gonna, we're kind of done for the day. I'm gonna come get you. She said, yeah, come get me, and then that was it. So that was 9/11 for me, and like to this day, I still go to the same SIR, and I've told that to people because there was a guy Ed Dilks who worked there for for years, who was there, and it was there up until recently. He just left there. And so I could tell, like, some of the newer guys would come in. It's like, hey, man, that couch, same couch still there, the black leather couch. I'm like, I, that's where I sat 9-11. Oh, I, that's crazy. Watching the, watching the broadcast. I'm, Did you see – were you watching when the second plane hit? I was not. I was actually in transit. I was driving there when it happened. Okay. So when I got to us, I was like, oh, yeah, the second tower got hit. I'm like, you know. Yeah, I totally didn't get it. Of course not. Like, I mean, it's like most people didn't. I, I totally understand that. And I was in oh, I actually grade. fully got it. You, I, like, oh, full comprehension. In, no, I'm just kidding. Oh, I was like, what? <laughs> no, I didn't even understand. Like, I just was, I remember, because we were on the West Coast, so we were a few hours mm. earlier. Oh, so I was right like on right. my way to school. What? In where, where in the West Coast were you at? San Diego. Oh, nice. Yeah, okay, we're cool. both from San Diego. Yeah. That's right. I, yeah, 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 we talked about it, so yeah. Cool. And uh, I was in ninth grade at the time. I had right just on. started ninth grade. Mm-hmm. And uh, on, like, on the way to school, my grandma was like watching TV, and she was like, this crazy thing happened. I was like, all right, grandma, like, whatever, you old. And I went to school, and then, like, my first period English class, like, she was, all we were doing is watching this news footage, and I just could not care. Oh, I know, Less, right. Like, yeah. I was, you know, I was like thir- 14, 13, however you old are in ninth grade. It doesn't sink, it doesn't hit the same <clears throat> way. Uh, yeah, and I was just yeah. like, all right, some building I don't know about got, uh, is on fire. Great. Mm-hmm. And it wasn't for, like, a few days that I was, like, heard, like, oh, it was an attack. I was like, uh, Oh, few days? I, I think I get it. Yeah, like I didn't care. I was just, I all I morning. did back then was what play golf doing? and video games. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Like you I guys did, are about the same age, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Exactly. Just a couple months. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I uh, also played video games at the time. Um, <laughs> I did too. I did not golf uh, though, I and I guess do. that's the problem. Golfers are unaware of yeah, what I, this I just, country's all going all I did through. Just play golf and video games. <laughs> my whole life. There, there is a reason I I did. I, I'm uh, I'm not a good golfer, but I did. I did play because I grew up in Florida, mm. and I grew up in a in a small town called Sebring. Not so small anymore, but small-ish, and right in the center of the state. And it's basically retirees and golf courses, which obviously in Florida mm. and you retire. Yeah. Right. golf. That's which what is, the state's for. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> and actually, the the house that I lived in during specifically during high school was kind of around a golf course community, so it was always there. And I could hit a little bit or whatever. I go driving range with my dad or whatever, but I wasn't that great. But then I wound up touring. Um, uh, several years ago, I was out with Trace Atkins, country artist, and all the guys, including Trace, were like, we golf. Mm. I'm like, well, I kind of suck. He's like, yeah, just, just, you got clubs? Yeah, I got some not as nice clubs as you guys. Like, yeah, just throw on the bus. And they said, well, we go, and you should go because 
we get opportunities to play at places because we pulled the trace card. Mm. You know, and it's usually pretty mm. easy. Like the band leader, the keyword player would just cold call like a really nice country club. Go like, hey, I'm in town with Trace Atkins tonight or whatever. And Trace wants to play and some of the guys want to play. And can we play? And obviously we'll hook you up with a show for anybody who wants to go. And my God, if that didn't work pretty much right. all the time. It really did. It really, I'm like, wow, that was, because I figured like some places like, oh, they're not country fans. No, they totally were. So I got to play at some places that I had no business being at, like it places that like the dues are like six figures or whatever, you know, really fancy, yeah, fancy places. That's right. fun. But that being said, I will, to speak to what you're saying, it's like golfers, they, it's a great place that like you shut the world out. Yeah. The yeah. world could be falling down. And you're just like, dude, I'm on the course. Yeah, Screw no that. idea what's yeah. going on. And I started yeah. playing golf when I was young. Like, oh, good for you. Like, yeah. there was like this, I was, I mean, I didn't grow up with money, which is what most people who play golf have, but yep. there was like an inner city program and they came and like took these kids to this tiny golf course, taught them how to play golf. Mm-hmm. So I started in like sixth grade learning how to play golf. Then I joined the high school team. And I always thought I was terrible at golf. I was like, I'm, the, I'm t- awful. Everyone I know is better than me. Mm-hmm. Like, I'm just, I'm the worst person. I was like bottom three on the team. But I'd only ever played with other people on the team and pros. Right. So you Then I went yeah. out and played with some just like regular people and I was like, I'm a fucking professional. Are you <laughs> kidding me? You guys are terrible at golf. <laughs> Dear God. You suck. Yeah, I thought I sucked. Yeah. I had no idea. But yeah, it is very much that mentality. Everything shuts down. No, you don't want to talk about anything else at the golf course. Like you're trying to bring up news. I was like, you can go ahead and shut up. Like nobody yeah, exactly. wants to hear it. Well, we need to take a quick pause and I think this would be a great time to play, play a song. A song. Oh boy. And uh, I think it'll be the hot action cop song. So you're gonna play the you're gonna play the the quote unquote single. Let's the... play the single. Okay, cool. And then when we get back, we'll talk about how uh, that came to be. 